Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to work the simple single crochet edging which I have added to each of my panels on the wedding throw crochet along. So what I've done is I've crocheted a little swatch here for you and I'm just going to give you some tips and pointers as far as how I make that final single crochet edging around each of the panels. Now for the edging on your panel, the first thing that I've asked you to do is on the right hand side with the right side of your fabric facing you are going to join your yarn with a slip stitch in that top right hand corner. And thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So I just do a simple slip stitch join and then you're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across the top of the panel. So simply work a single row of single crochet stitches. Now the edging is going to be worked in rounds, which means at the end, uh, at each corner, you're not going to fasten off, but you're going to keep working around the edge, the raw edges of your panel. So simply single crochet. And depending on which panel you're working on, whether it's the narrow panels or those wider uh, panels done in this uh, waffle stitch design. Um, it will depend on how many stitches you have across the top. So just single crochet all the way across. When you come to your corner stitch on the opposite side, your final stitch, you are going to work three single crochet stitches. So there's one, two, and three. So what that's going to do is it's going to bring you around to the uh, next side of your panel and then you have this raw edge. For each of the raw edges of your blanket for these longer panels, you are going to evenly work 197 single crochet across. Now you can adjust the uh, number of stitches. You can do more or less depending on your own preference and own tension. Just remember to make note of how many stitches you have down this raw edge because you want to have the same on each of your panels. It'll make it much easier for joining in the end. Okay, so on my little swatch here today, I'm just going to do a quick, uh, probably 11 stitches. And what I do is, I usually, when I work my single crochet stitches, because I don't want to have the posts of my stitches pulling apart from the rest of my work. I want it kind of gathered together. Occasionally I will actually come down into the stitch below it and insert my hook just to pick up a little bit of that stitch so we're right through the post and I will work the first single crochet stitch. It's just going to bring it together. Okay, so there's one Two. Now as far as getting my stitches evenly spaced out, especially if you're working 197 stitches, um, what I might do is I might go down the length of my uh, blanket and I might find the halfway point and I would just add a quick stitch marker to the halfway point and then know that I need to have half my stitches on one side half my stitches on the other side. It's just a little trick to make sure that you get your stitches spread out evenly. Okay, so I've done three, four, I'm gonna come down again into the middle of the next stitch, and five, then six, seven, 
eight. Go into the middle. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And again, I want to kind of come into the middle to bring these closer together. If you don't mind the posts pulling apart a little bit, you can just simply work those single crochet stitches around the posts. It's up to you. Okay. So then I've worked my 11 stitches. I'm back to the next corner stitch. In the next corner, I'm going to work three single crochet stitches again. One, two, and three. I will have come back across or up to the top and I'm back on my, I've come around to my next side. I'm then going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across. When I come back to my next corner stitch, which is the top of a chain three here, I'm going to work three single crochet stitches in that corner stitch. I'm go now working along the other edge, and again, I want to have the same number of stitches. So I had 11 stitches on the other side. I'm going to need 11 stitches on this side. So again, I'm coming in to the next stitch because I kind of want to keep those two posts together. There's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten and eleven. Once you come to your final corner stitch again, because you have already worked one single crochet in it, in that final stitch, you are simply going to work two single crochet stitches. It'll bring you around to your first one. You're going to join that first stitch with a slip stitch. Fasten off and then weave in your ends. If you desire, at the end of each, you can block your panels if you'd like. It might partly depend on which yarn you chose, uh, and it also may help you to make sure that each of your panels are the same length and that your edges are straight. That is the simple single crochet edging. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy crocheting until next time. Bye.